Live from Springcast Cinemation's headquarters in Calgary, Alberta, Cinemation Studios on Entertainment presents Microsoft Sam Makes a Red Out of the Warner Music Group, starring Microsoft Sam, Microsoft Zero as Starfire from Teen Titans Go, and Dennis McMahon from the WWE. This is Microsoft Sam and today I will make a rant about Warner Music Group. When I uploaded a vintage liquid box fan blade swap video on YouTube, I wanted to use a song called 20th Century Fox by The Doors. But unfortunately the audio was muted due to a copyright claimed by Warner Music Group and it made me very mad. In order to use the song by The Doors you need to buy the song. I think this is totally retarded. What do you think about it? Does anybody have any ideas why they would do such a thing like this? If you know why, please feel free to comment on this video. Thanks. Warner Music Group is being idiots. Please subscribe. Sometimes Warner Music Group can be a pain in the butt if you use music such as The Doors. I'm getting really mad at Warner Music Group for muting my video because YouTube does not like the music. Warner Music Group WMG is the third largest business group and family of record labels in the recording industry, making it one of the big four record companies. The current incarnation of the company was formed in 2004, when it was spun off by Time Warner, now Warner Media, which AT&T successfully acquired at the same time, and as a result, Time Warner no longer retains any ownership. Warner Music Group also has a music publishing arm Warner slash Chapel Music. In 2007, Warner slash Chapel sent a cease and desist letter to Walter Ritter, the creator of the free program called Pearl Lyrics, that was used to find lyrics of songs using the internet. In response to wide negative publicity, it subsequently apologized and offered to cooperate with him in the application. However, no subsequent overtures seemed to have been made, and the software remains unavailable. WMG was the first major media company to form a strategic relationship with YouTube, effectively embracing a business model around user-generated content. The arrangement with YouTube required that royalties be paid based on a number of views that videos featuring music from WMG artists received. However in December 2008, negotiations between the two companies broke down, and as a result, clips on YouTube featuring WMG music recordings have had their audio removed or blocked completely and replaced with a message indicating copyright infringement. Microsoft Sam, report to my office right fucking now. What, Starfire? What the fuck do you want? Yeah!